Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's do a little bit of art restoration here. We've got a picture here and it's an uh, angle and there's clearly some light come down on the top of it and there's a bit more up here. So it needs a little bit of fixing and it's kind of retain a kind of frame all the way around. So first of all, we want to square it off. So we make sure we've got the pixel layer selected. Go to the perspective tool change the mode here to source and then we drag the corners here in to this and if notice if you've got snappings getting in the way let's turn that snapping off up there so we can get this accurately and normally i would zoom in to get it super careful but this is good enough for this we're right, just showing how to do it right there we go now let's put turn the snapping back on again and change the mode there from source back to destination. So now what happens is when I move this here, it's going to square off. So I need to square that to there, square this to here. So I've got part of that frame there and square that there. So I've got this nice and rectangular. I can turn on the grid if I want to, to see that there, yeah, that looks okay. Then apply that. Now then, what I'm going to do next is to look into this. I'll get a bit closer into here. So dress this area up here, which is a bit too light. So I'm going to select an area to start off with to get me going, which is this here. In fact, this has not quite got that square enough. So I'm going to hit Control D go to the perspective tool here and pull this up slightly so I get that with the snapping off so now when I apply this rectangular tool again it's better it's better squared but I'm just going to do it again from down here I want to get it, get it inside so not touching the frame. There we go, that's better. Now then when I set our curves here, I'm going to make this darker but I want to do it just to match this here so that I'm going to get a bit of a line across here but I don't mind because I'm going to address that in a minute. What I'm doing is looking at this area up here just so it's about the same as this area down here and I don't want this curve to sort of bash the bottom a bit. So that looks good enough for that. And Control D. And now I want to effectively remove this colouring here. So I need to paint black onto this. So let's go to a paintbrush tool, make sure I've got black on here. Pasty, about 51 hardness zero, that's okay. So now I'm going to paint across here. See there, I'm just merging those bits together. So now that top there fits fairly well into the area below. OK, that's right. Now then, I'm just going to do a little bit of cloning. So I get the clone brush here and I want this bit, little light bit here and I just copy a bit from up here into it. So let's go in close. Alt click out here and what I've got here, the opacity tool. I'm going to do this on a new layer, by the way. Make sure I've got current layer and below set. So it's non-destructive. I can always go back and redo it. So I'll click here and then just start painting into those areas there. Doing little bits of time so I can always just do an undo if I want to go back. I'm just going to do this fairly quickly. Oops. See, if necessary, see, because I could undo it, control Z there to undo it, and it didn't undo log, not so, because I was just doing tapping. Okay, well, that's good enough for that. Now, what I'm going to do now is copy from over here just to cover up this stuff here. So, the way to do that is I'm going to do a new pixel layer again, so we can always go backwards, it's not much of a problem. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. 
and the trick here is to do a flip. So if the flip here is flip horizontal. So I'm going to get to a recognizable point here. So I'm going to click on the corner there, Alt click to set the point there. So I'm going to come over here and turn the opacity up so I can see it. And I can get onto that corner there, line that up neatly. Yep, see that fits. And now I can turn the opacity back down again, around about 20%, and start filling in this area here again with dabs so it doesn't look like it's painted directly, so you get some unevenness across it. There we go. How that zoom out always is a good way of double checking. And you can always I'll click in here and add some extra bits here. So do a flip none to do that. That's better. That'll do. Now then what we want to do is to play with the frame a bit here. In fact what I'm going to do is go to the crop tool. Bring this up. Turn of close to the bottom end here and take this out a little bit to give myself some wiggle space there and it'll extend the canvas so I apply that like that. So now what I'm going to do is copy from the left to the right here so new layer and clone and flip horizontal and because I want to paint the whole thing I'm just going to go up to 100% here and so get something recognizable and alt click in the corner there and go over here so I've got that fitting neatly there so it lines up with that and then I can paint in to fill up the frame there so I'm painting, copying from the left here, over to the right. There we go. So what I'm doing here is copying from this side to this side. So I've missed a little bit there, so I can always, I need to actually extend this a little bit, so I'm going to do a bit from the bottom here. So I'm going to Alt click the bottom corner here. I'll do, do actually that little corner there. Alt click that, then go up to the top here, and I'm going to flip vertical here. So I just make sure that fits neatly into there. I need to click it once to set the bit then can I am I going to do this no it's not going to work is it so in fact what I'll do is I will just do a flip none here so change your mind as needed this is good enough I'm close to the edge there so alt click on the left there and bring it up to whoops that's enough need to go a bit further here alt click in here come over into here here and just click the edge to bring that edge across there there we go we can play with that but that's close enough and then do a crop a final crop into this and make sure the snapping's off because you don't want it to get in the way one corner and then the other corner and oops slip that a bit get that back out and get the whole thing in and apply that and there we go there's a bit of art restoration and we went from just put our curves up there so I can select them all so I can go from that was it after it was straightened up to that which is tidied up you can always spend a lot of time on these things but as a, in a process and approach I think you can see what's going on. Hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.